Chapter 7 Sour Grapes Principal called Miss to come to his office. Only, I didn't even know he was going to do that sneaky thing. That's how come I had to pull my skirt over my head, or else Miss would see me there, and she would know I have tattled on her. Don't do that, said Principal. Yeah, only I'm allowed, I said from underneath my skirt, because I have on my new red tights and also boxer shorts. After that, Principal went out of his office, and I heard my teacher's voice outside the door. Then I quick got under from my got up got down from my big chair wood chair, and I hid it under the principal's giant desk, cause I was scared of what was going to happen. That's why. I stayed quiet for lots of minutes. Then I heard feet come back in the office, and so I made my breath very quiet. Junie, Junie B, Junie B Jones said principal. She might be hiding, said Miss. She's good at that, you know. And so just then, I had to think of something very quick, or else I might come looking. They might come looking for me, I think. Yeah, only Junie B. Jones is in hiding, I said in a very scary voice. Junie B. Jones has to go home. Only don't call her mother, or else she will get mad at you and crack your head open. After that, Feet walked real fast around the desk. It was the it was principal. Come out of there right now, young lady, he said. I peeked my eyes at him. Shoot, I said very quiet. Then I had to sit in the big wood chair again. And Miss sat next to me, except for I didn't look at her, or else she might be making a fist at me. Good afternoon, Junie B, she said in a nice voice. I did a gulp. I think you and I need to have a little talk, she said. Then my eyes got teeny bit wet on, in them, cause a little talk means I'm gonna get yelled at. Yeah, only I tried not to tattletale on you, I said very quick, cause I didn't want you to go to jail for stealing grapes. And so I kept it a secret inside my head. I didn't talk, and Grandma Miller thought a dead cat got my tongue. Only today Lucille said my head was gonna blow. And so that's how come I run run into the nurse for a band-aid and she took took it me to principal and then my secret accidentally slipped out my lips. Miss try, dried my ears with a tissue. It's okay, Junie B, she said. I'm not angry at you. I just need to know what you saw me do at the grocery store. Can you tell me what you saw? Then she said the word egg exactly. I made my voice very whispering. I exactly saw you eat grapes, I told her, except for you didn't pay the store man for them. You just put them in your mouth and ate them. And that is called the word of stealing, I think. After that, I hid my head under my skirt again. You don't have to hide, Junie B, said Miss. I'm the one who should be hiding. I'm the one who took the grapes. I peeked my eyes out over my skirt at her. And then Miss did a little smile, and she explained that all about what happened. Two weeks ago, I brought some grapes to the grocery store, she said. But when I got them home, I discovered that they were sour, and no one in my family would eat them. So this week, my husband and I went back to the store. I thought I'd be smart and taste a couple grapes before I bought them. I raised my eyebrows. Is that the rules, I asked very quiet? Miss shook her head. No, she said. That's not the rules. I should have told the grocery man about my sour grapes, and I should have asked him if I could sample one or two. But I didn't do that. And it was right. You were to write up and it was right of you to worry when you saw me eating them without paying for them. It was? I asked. Miss smiled again. Of course it was, she said. It shows you you know right from wrong. And it shows that also shows that teachers make mistakes just like everyone else. Teachers aren't perfect, Junie Bean. No one is perfect. After that, I felt relief in me because of no more secret. That's why. Yeah, I guess. And guess what else I saw? I said, very happy. I saw you and your strange men do a big smoochy kiss. And it was right in front of the whole entire everybody. Only you didn't even know I was spying on you, because I'm not actually allowed to do sneaky th that sneaky thing. Only my mother never even find it out.
I smiled very proud at my, of myself, except Miss didn't smile back and the principal didn't smile back too. Cause guess why? Another secret just slipped out. That's why. <laughs>